Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So in today's video, we are going to be doing my first update for my fall Bath & Body Works project pan. So I have a few empties and a few things to update you guys on my progress. So let's go ahead and get started. I do just want to remind you guys to go ahead and like and subscribe down below so that you can see all of my Bath & Body Works content. But anyways, let's start off with the empties actually. Um, the first empty that I have is the only body, well not the only body care, but is the first body care thing in Strawberry Pound Cake Shower Gel. So this one took me about three months to finish off. I'll show you the progress lines. This uh, took me from the beginning to right about here and then here in another month and then took like maybe a few weeks to get that part finished off. But yeah, finished off the Strawberry Pound Cake Shower Gel. I really liked this. I enjoyed it while I used it super fresh and fruity um but i'm really glad to have this out so i can focus on mainly fall scents the next body care thing that i finished is the champagne apple and honey hand cream so i use these at work um, pretty often i think i've been finishing one a month and champagne apple and honey is a really really good scent um it was really nice for october and nice and fresh i really loved that and then I'm really proud. I actually finished off both of the single looks that I had in the project. So the first one is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. So near the end, I got pretty far. It burned pretty well. Um, yeah, it, it went like very, very far down. And yeah, it just smelled like Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. It was really nice to have while I was like in the shower or getting ready for bed. And then I also had Pumpkin Clove, which um, left quite a bit of wax, but that's okay. I burned it as much as I could. And I think I like pumpkin clove better than the sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I know, crazy. But um, this has kind of a sweetness to it that I really enjoyed. So yeah, finished off of those two. Very proud of my progress with those. And then everything else is just progress. So those are the last things that I finished. So I'll show you everything else. So we'll start off with the body care. I have the Vanilla Mocha Cafe Body Lotion. Um, I went from zero uses on this to right about here. Um, so it'll probably take me three months to use this. I think I haven't really been focusing on this as much as the other lotions that I have in here But it smells really good. It's very comforting to put on at night because it just kind of smells like Coffee chocolate to me. So it's really comforting and then the next moisturizer I have is the sweet cinnamon pumpkin ultra shea body cream This is from last year um, and then I do have some progress lines to update you or I have progress in ounces, so I just went ahead and measured this. At the beginning of the project, we were at 4.5 ounces. Keep in mind this started at 8 ounces, so I had used a bit before I put it in the project. Um, so we went from 5.4 ounces to 4.8 ounces. So I think it's good that I dropped down, like, not a full ounce, but at least to a different number. Um, I didn't really use this one too much, but I did use Pearberry a lot. So I noticed this is starting to, you know, not smell as good as it used to smell. And so I really want to finish this up quick. Um, so it has been in the last three months of progress. So it started at 6.4 ounces, then it was 5.6, and now we're at 4.0. So I dropped 1.6 ounces by using this a lot more often than the other two. Um, so hopefully I can finish this up soon. Before it goes completely bad. I hope I can finish this before the end of the year. So I do have Bonfire Bash in the body lotion in this project. So I put this in not kind of realizing that I had so many moisturizers. So I really have only used it a couple times. You can't really even see any progress on it. So I'm not going to mark it. Um, but yeah, I really didn't use this that much last month, but it smells really good. It smells like marshmallows. Like, don't get me wrong. I love the way it smells. I just didn't think to use this last month. And then I also have the Sleep aromatherapy black chamomile lotion so this is pretty old i think it was from 2015 if i remember correctly yeah 2015 and so i did measure this in ounces because you can't really see progress on this black you know label um and when i started it in the project it was at 5.1 ounces so this is in a glass bottle by the way um even though it says it's 6.5 fluid ounces that doesn't account for the you know weight of this actual glass bottle so it started at 5.1 ounces and i went to 4.0 ounces so i shaved 
one 0.1 ounces off of it. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to get some use out of this. I don't need to finish it like super quickly. It's not going bad or anything, but it does smell really good. It smells like it's very comforting. So I've been enjoying using this and we'll just get steady progress on that one. And the last moisturizer in here is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Hand Cream. So I started this out maybe a week ago at work and I'm just steadily using it. I'm actually going to use some right now. I think I'm figuring out though that Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin is not my favorite pumpkin body, what am I saying, body care item? Yeah, body care scent. Um, I, I don't think I like it that much. It's really not not doing it for me. It's not pumpkin-y enough and it's like sweet in a weird way. I don't know. I don't think Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin is my favorite body care pumpkin-y scent but I am enjoying using it. I love this formula. Like I've said before, it really, really moisturizes your hands. So the last moisturizer that I have in the project is the Mineral Hydrating Body Oil in Moonstone. So this has been in for one, two, three, four months. <laughs> so I've only had four months of progress on it. I don't use this very much. I maybe use it like once every week, um, but I got a lot more progress. Let's see if I can even show you guys the lines. Yeah, okay. So here's where it started, one month, one month, and then this last month I used it a lot more. I maybe used it like twice a week, so that has been making it go a little faster, so I'll just keep doing that and keep using it up. So now let's move on to shower gels. I have Vanilla Mocha Cafe. I've been using this one steadily in the shower. It smells so good. So I started off, you know, right at the top, and we've gone down to here, so almost halfway but not quite um, and that's kind of like my progress on shower gels I usually use them once every finish one up once every two and a half or two months and a week that kind of thing so then the sweater weather shower gel probably won't get used <laughs> in this the next couple of months once this uh, fall project finishes so I think I was a little ambitious in putting in two shower gels since I don't finish them that quickly but it smells super good. I definitely, I did use it I think once in the shower. It smells a lot different than I thought it would. It's like very manly smelling in the shower. So I might just put it in there and use it every now and then, but I don't think this will get finished up. And then I have my two fragrance mists. So I had these two in, I have Almond Blossom. I've been trying to use these kind of like interchangeably, both kind of like the same amount. Um, so Almond Blossom right here, I've only gotten like this much progress. I've been using a lot of spray, like a lot more than I usually do, and that's like the only amount of progress I've made on it. So it'd probably be like twice as much if I only had one spray in here, but I like having a variety, so I'm okay with that. And then for Vanilla Mocha Cafe, this one is actually my favorite out of the two. Um, so it has a little bit more use, and I, okay, you can't really see it because of this label right here, but you can see it like on the inside, I can see where the line is at. So I just marked it on the back again. Um, so we started up here and then we're down to here. So they have about the same progress, maybe a little more. Yeah, just slightly a little bit more on Vanilla Mocha Cafe. So those two I'm just getting steady progress out of. I don't expect to finish these two in the project, but I do want to get some use out of them just so I can, you know, feel like I've actually used some of the fragrance mists in my collection. And then we'll move on to the candles. So I have the Blessed Pumpkin Pecan Waffles candle. I've used this kind of like every football Saturday. <laughs> so, um, and I've only burnt it for like, you know, three or four hours during the day. Um, but I did go from, so you can see kind of the soot line actually from right about here to right about here. So that's like here to here. Um, I haven't gotten too much progress on this, but this is like a heavy hitter, so I really can't have it burning for too long. And once, like once it's burning, I just, I don't know. I love how it smells, but it's very, very strong, so I can't burn this that much. But made some steady progress with that one. And then Blueberry Pie will probably be finished very soon. Um, I made some great progress on this one. I think I was right about here. Is that right? Yeah, right about half the label and then we went down to here. So I probably only have like two or three more burns on it, but it smells super good. Yeah, it just smells like juicy blueberries. So this one will probably be finished very soon. And then I am putting one single wick into the project. Just because I finished off those two, I can probably finish off this one too. And it is White Pumpkin Vanilla. And it's just this like little bitty single wick candle from Hobby Lobby, actually. And this reminds me of Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow from Bath and Body Works. 
but yeah I like burning these little one wicks um, better than burning let me show you like the actual Bath and Body Works one wicks because this one I don't have to babysit I don't have to burn it for two plus hours but these I do so this one's like easy when I come home uh, from work and take a shower and go straight to bed that I can burn this and just finish it up because I don't need to keep this around for many years to come so that is everything for my fall project pan I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I hope that it motivated you a little bit to start using some of your fall stuff or you know continue using it and finish it before you move on to winter because I know they have their winter stuff out but you know you got to finish the fall stuff first so anyways thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye